Uh, hit the like button. We got some crazy news about 600 McAdoo. Look like he uh, ended up losing his life due to something self-inflicted with the internet reporting. Uh, hit the like button, you know. He was a legend. He was here early in the drill culture. He was here early when this shit was popping off. Not sure if he was rapping, but he was in a lot of the videos. Uh, so let's make sure we get about, you know, maybe 10,000 likes on this video. Let's make sure a video about the legend reach the top. So if you watch this video, let's make sure you hit the like button. It ain't about the clout. It's about people watching this video and understand, you know, sometimes you can be fighting demons and you could be going through shit. Or sometimes you could just be, you know, make a mistake and some shit happen. But, um... 600 McAdoo. He was locked up for a double homicide. This guy was locked up. He was going to be facing a big, big time case. News is reporting that he was found in his cell uh, in jail while locked up. Uh, seemed like he was uh, maybe off of something, some, maybe some drugs or something they have inside uh, the jails that people use. Remember, you can't get a lot of the shit that's on the outside. And if you do, it'd be hard. So I was told that uh, he overdosed off something. I'm not sure exactly what it is. You know, I don't want to come up with too much because a lot of this news is fresh. I don't want to be the guy on the internet making up stories just to be first and shit because that's where we get a lot of mistakes at. Uh, but news is reporting that 600 McAdoo uh, is reportedly uh, lost his life uh, due to something that happened inside the jails that people is reporting was an overdose of some drugs. You know, this shit be crazy out here, man. A lot of these people, you know, not seeing him, but a lot of people be so wild and the situation happens so fast, you know, that you end up waking up in the morning with a light sentence, you know. And that's what a lot of these guys been through. A lot of these guys were teenagers in their teenage years, younger years, and they didn't call cases that they gonna have to fight 30, 40, 50, 60 years facing the consequence of that shit, you know. And that's just the reality of this shit. Uh, guys like him, Rondo number nine, C Day, uh, D Rose 600. A lot of the younger 600 members uh, took a lot of brunt of this shit. You know, that's what a lot of people don't notice. A lot of the younger guys end up getting a lot of sentences. A lot of the younger guys end up losing their life due to the violence. You know, so early, early, early in the drill culture, it was a lot of tricking people off the streets. You know, I think a lot of people that wised up now at this moment to realize that. You know, this drill shit ain't all it's hyped up to be. And it's a lot of hyping up in it, too. But it is real in this shit. But I wanted to report to you that 600 McAdoo uh, reportedly passed away in his jail cell uh, due to an overdose or something to, related to that. What y'all think about that, man? I think that's crazy. He was a legend in this shit. Early videos with Keith. Early videos uh, hitting the internet. You know, he had videos going viral before we even knew what viral was about. Rappers shouting him out in songs and shit like that. So make sure we hit the like button. 10,000 likes on this video, man. I think the uh, drill culture need to know what's going on. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie truth. Bleh, 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 bleh.